Hey guys, welcome to welcome back to my channel. Today is the day where I'm gonna be dyeing my hair red by myself for the first time. I'm so 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 nervous. I got the package from Sally Beauty, which is where I ordered all like the hair dye and stuff that I need. So let's open that. What we got the 30 volume developer. Developer like makes your hair lighter and like it goes from 10, 20, 30, 40. The higher the value is, the lighter it makes your hair. But this is a really, really big bottle. And then I got this dark red blonde hair color and I got this medium copper blonde hair color. And this mixing bowl, which is like pretty common in salons. And then this little brush just to be fancy. And then I also have my own gloves here. Basically I watched like a bunch of reference videos and all the videos that I've watched, this girl that I saw got like these two colors. Okay, so in this clip, I'm just mixing the developer first. So the ratio you're supposed to use is two to one. So for every ounce of hair dye that you have, do double the amount of developer. So now I'm just mixing the hair dye into the developer. And it was honestly kind of hard to get it all out, but then I eventually did. And here I'm just mixing it together. You want to eventually get a creamy consistency which might take a while, but here's what it looks like after it's all mixed together. I have my hair into three sections. So one is one I'm gonna work on right now. Second one, the one you can see a little bun here. And then third one right up here. Sorry, I look so disgusting. Um, but I'm pretty sure you're supposed to like divide your hair into layers just so you can like make sure you get every single part of your hair. So it's not like splotchy overall, but I'm gonna turn on Rotten Mango podcast. Listen to that. I'm scared. Should I start on the inside? I don't know, this is like, I'm so okay, I started. I can't go back now. I can't. I can't. Is this how you do it? I don't even know if I'm doing it right. Like, okay, this is gonna take a long time because I have like a lot of hair. I should take smaller or bigger sections. I honestly didn't pay attention to that back, so I hope this is like not too. Oh, I should have started from the other way. What am I thinking? Honestly, I don't know if this brush is really like. I could probably just use my hands and it'd be better. Raspberry color. <laughs> I don't know why I'm comparing it to fruit because it is definitely not edible, but for some reason it looks so appetizing. Uh, here's an update on my hair. I just look like I was just in a murder scene. Did the first section of my hair, um, and then here's like, oh wait, the color low-key turned a lot darker. So that's good. Okay. I'm gonna continue with the second section now. Um, I finished with my entire head of hair and I <laughs> look at my hands. They're literally like bloodshot red. Um, but like the dye Loki turned into like this cherry color. I basically used all the dye. I'm gonna wait for 45 minutes now. I hope I got like every single inch of my hair. I'm gonna wrap my hair up. I don't have like, I don't have a shower cap thing. So I'm gonna wrap my hair in this bag for 45 minutes and then I'm gonna take a shower and I'll come back when I finish dyeing my hair. And here's my final hair. Oh my gosh. I am obsessed with this color. It's like a cherry red, so it's not too bright. Little disclaimer, I did like two more rounds of dye after the first round because the first time I did it, it was not really showing up and then I did it two more times. So this is the product after that. A few tips for you guys if you're gonna dye your hair at home without bleach. So my roots were really, really grown out and I have like naturally Asian hair. So it was super dark. Definitely one tip is to buy extra bottles of dye before you start. Just in case you do need to use it, you're gonna have that. For you, like me, I had to like make more dye but also if you don't end up using it, you could just return it. Second is to definitely make sure to put like Vaseline all around like your neck and your face and your ears because if dye gets on it, it could stain. If you have Vaseline on it, it's super like easy to take off, if that makes sense. So definitely do that. My third piece of advice is 
when you're gonna dye it, make sure that before you wash your hair, you let it sit in like, I use a plastic bag because I don't have a shower cap, but if you have a shower cap, let it sit in there for like 45 to an hour. Like the first time I did it, I only let it sit for like 30 minutes and I feel like that really wasn't enough. But if you let it sit for like 45 or an hour or like even an hour and a half, I think it really makes a big difference. Like it allows the dye to actually sit into your hair. If you don't wait long enough, you can just wash it up and all the color is just going to wash out. In total, I think it took me five hours, not including like the parts where I would have to wait for dye to sit in. So definitely be patient with it. Even if it doesn't look good the first time it comes out, just know that if you add more, then it will be a lot better. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!